What's up Godzilla fans? We're back again and this time we're going to be taking a look at another mode. This one is called King of Kaiju and it's more of just a one-on-one -on -one monster throwdown mode and we're going to be trying to get a few more of the parts I guess you could say that we need to finish leveling up Godzilla and so to finish leveling him up we still need we need a destroy a cell and a Biolante cell and once I get those I will be able to finish leveling up Godzilla so let's go ahead and jump into King of Kaiju mode now let's see there's Biolante I guess we'll go ahead and just do Biolante first. Alright, let's see if I can figure out how to use Biolante. <laughs> wow. Good night. Good grief. Now that's how you destroy a city. off me again wow she's a she is a beast oh nice Alright, now let's try a super attack. Alright. Yep. That's legit. Spitting out her acid. Oh, little jet jaguar. One of the goofiest, goofiest Godzilla characters ever created. This isn't even fair. Eat that. Now let's see if there's some new attacks. Yep, didn't do anything there. Alright. Oh my gosh, they even have Jet Jawwork sound effects. This game did pay a lot of attention to detail. Where you going, big guy? Wow, she can hit 360 degrees. That's not even fair. Oh, good grief. That's 
Something's not different. Something's a little different. Oh my gosh. Cheese for the win. <laughs> All right. I'm seeing pretty clearly that uh, Bailante is pretty OP. All right. On to the next battle. Mecha Godzilla. All right. This is just brutal. And a bite. I don't stand a chance. Goodbye. Wow. Oh my gosh, this is just not even fair. Well, this should be a quick... <laughs> oh, wow. Wow. Okay, on to the next mission. Oh, wow, okay. I'm sorry, Rodan. This is not going to be pretty. Oh, wow. Okay. Yes. My oh, a little broken. <laughs> Still love this game, though. Ah, she's she's getting me good. Oh yeah. Get off of me. Wow. Trading blows. <laughs> oh my God. Poor, poor, poor Rodan. Get you with the finisher. Little acid sap. Goodbye, Rodan. All right, let's see. Next up, Space Godzilla. Oh, my gosh. All right, I'll let you get first hit in because this ain't going to be pretty. Send your crystals at me, will you? Oh, got you. And a little acid sap to finish you off. Well, not to finish you off, but the... Oh, you turned on me. Couldn't see you for the smoke. All right. Boy, he just keeps blocking. Yeah. Now I'll smack you in the face. This should. Yeah, Bailante is. Uh... I'll get them crystals out of here. 
Get, get down. Yeah, that's the only thing you can do to stop her is just... Sap showers. I tried to block it. You don't mess with a woman who's mad. Oh, a little burning Godzilla now. Final stage. Ooh, his atomic breath can do a lot of damage, so. He ain't even flinching. Get off me. Oh gosh. There we go. Ah. It's my Oh my gosh, okay, I'm starting to see some. Damn. the closest battle I had to losing oh my goodness all right let's see if I got the Biolante cell I needed evolution factor Biolante cell and jet Jaguar circuit boards nothing wrong with that now before I close out this video let's go read about Biolante which is another cool part of um, Godzilla on the PlayStation 4 is they have like an encyclopedia and so let me go pull it up here all right it's called the kaiju guide and it is filled with a wealth of information on all the different characters in the series and I'm not sure if I have Biolante on here or not but let's go check and see Oh, there we go, Biolante. An enormous living creature genetically produced by Dr. Shiragami, one of the topmost authorities on genetic engineering. In an attempt to resurrect his daughter Erica after she was killed in a terrorist attack, Dr. Shiragami combined his daughter's cells with a rosebud and the powerful self-reproductive or self -reproductive ability of Godzilla's G-cells, successfully creating a plant with eternal life in the process. However, the influence of the G cells proved to be very oh, excuse me. However, the influence of the G cells proved to be overpowering and the genetically produced plant mutated into a monster that could spew a powerful corrosive sap. Still Erica's consciousness sur survived within the monster, I'll bet faintly. Biolante escaped the Shiragami New Plant Research Laboratory near Lake Ashi in Kanagawa and began to grow exponentially, eventually appearing as a giant flower monster with gargantuan flora blossoming in the lake. 
Sensing the existence of another monster with similar biological makeup, it used its fang roots to take on Godzilla. After succumbing to Godzilla's atomic breath and disintegrating into glistening particles, it absorbed that same energy and mutated into a plant monster with crocodile mandibles. The plant monster proceeded to move nimbly through the ground, causing earth tremors while attempting to assimilate Godzilla as its prey. As the first new monster in the Heisei series, Biollante's costume required not only stuntmen to operate it from the inside, but also a crew of 20 who manipulated 32 piano wires to mobilize the beast. It's 120 meters high in, as the plant monster and 200,000 tons as the plant monster and its abilities are powerful corrosive radioactive sap and its only appearance was in Godzilla vs. Biollante. Alright guys I hope you've enjoyed this playthrough it was boring as could be because she is just so overpowered that it is just not fair so all right stay tuned guys we will be doing a playthrough with destroy you next see you in a bit take care god bless and keep on gaming